Welcome to Dunblane. And on my left hand side, a 14 and a half million rand, four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, stunning architectural masterpiece located in this equestrian and lifestyle estate right here in Benoni. So join me as we tour through this home, take a look at some of its coolest features, some of its quirks, and show you what it has to offer you. Welcome home. Outside in this parkade area, there are six garage entrances big enough to fit your six cars. And then we walk under this skylit trellis way that is completely covered. The skylights are all glass and we reach this wall to wall glass entryway, a door on a hinge that opens up into your entry hall. Now, as soon as you do get to this entry hall, the first thing you'll notice other than we've got some beautiful birds. We've had so many dogs with us. This is the first time we're gonna have some birds. But what you'll notice is immediately this skywalk above me and then right here on my left hand side, you've got an outside water feature that wraps around the one side of the house but still comes in underneath this glass slitway. I love it, it's one of the coolest features and we've only seen it one other time. I think it brings, really does bring the outdoors indoors. Now, on this walkway, we've got that built-in speaker system. The fans of the show will know how often we see these zoned sound systems within the homes, stunning floors. Now, moving down these stairs, the first thing you'll notice is the 10-meter ceilings, this stunning chandelier draped over this 12-seater dining room table, and just in front of you, floor-to-ceiling glass, looking out onto the pool, and then the stunning grounds. Now, if we wrap around here, you'll see there's space here, for you to utilize however you wish and take a look at this window right here. Absolutely love how it looks. And coming from the dining room area, we can walk forward and find ourselves smack bang within the living room area. Or right now, you could look at this as a lounge area. We've got this gas fireplace located right in the middle for everybody to enjoy with some really cool under counter lighting, really making this a focus of this area right here. I'd throw a TV on the wall and just sit down and enjoy it. Now in front of me, we have got your half bathroom. And then you've got your half bathroom right there with your single vanity, a really cool wash basin, and then your hidden system toilet located in the corner with your soft close lid. I always think that's quite a cool feature. And coming from the half bathroom, let's go to my favorite part of the house, and that is the bar area slash games area. So. Let's start here with the bar area. We've got a fully enclosed glass wine cellar. So that is temperature controlled. You can walk in, get your wine, and you know I like some wine. But then just here, we've got some marble countertops with a full-on bar area behind me. Under counter, all your fridges above. We've got these funky blue lights. And behind me, you've got all your shelving for the other liquors. In the corner, you've got a corner window. But one of my favorite windows is if we come around this side, and just underneath the pool table, you've got these aluminum stackable glass doors that open wide and let you out onto this deck, wooden deck, stunning rim flow pool, and as much ground as the eye can see. I think this is a stunning area to live. Really, really a steal specifically for what you get, but look at this pool area. Blue pool, rim flow, and then you've got this little stream coming down into the pool, really adding a cool effect, specifically when joined in with that window right there. But because of the way this house is shaped, let's cut across to this side of the home. And here you are with your indoor outdoor patio area. So here is a full on lounge suite area. You can sit down, enjoy yourself. You can leave these doors open and close off these doors if you'd like, or you can open it all up and enjoy a nice breeze. All of over here, you've got your dining room area and then it is summer. So here's your prep top 
all your counter surfaces, a little prep sink there, under counter storage, and right over here, two fireplaces, nothing better than a braai, a pool, and a view like that. Maybe you don't want to be inside enjoying a fire, and that is where that LARP over there comes in so handy. You can sit there, enjoy a braai, maybe roast some marshmallows, look up at the night sky and enjoy this equestrian and lifestyle estate like it was meant to be enjoyed. So this estate has got wildlife aplenty, bucks, ducks, geese, anything you want to see. And then there's the dams. There's a dam right in front of me as well as some others around there. And obviously being a equestrian estate, if you're a horse rider, if you're an avid equestrian, you can store your horses right here and have them close by. But I cannot get enough of this area right here. This is probably the biggest garden we've ever had on the show. Take a look at that. But there's so much more that this house has and it's right in there. So I'm gonna grab my cameraman, and I'm gonna bring him all the way inside and let's take a look at the lounge area. So pulling in this way, yeah, is your TV area, or should I say your formal lounge suite area. So fully bulkhead ceiling above me. I love how they've recessed lighting inside the bulkhead and then some down lighting right here in case you don't want the mood lighting and you're having a serious conversation. Again, you've got the zone speaker system and then a full on built in wall unit housing the TV as well as the shelving right over there. Looks really classy, really nice. I love how it's been done. And I really like that corner window over there overlooking not only the pool area, but that, that really cool indigenous garden. And then coming out of the lounge suite area, here we are within the kitchen where all the magic happens, where my favorite meals are whipped up. We've got a breakfast nook right over here. Love how it is on the side of the island counter, but this light is something I definitely want to speak about. I'm such a big fan of lighting. It's a really cool light, not one we see often. Again, another continuation of the bulkhead ceiling with the down lighting and right over here, is also a first on the show, and that is a stainless steel countertop on the floating island, just right here by the prep sink. And then above me, we've got skylit. I mean, can you imagine how nice it must be to cook here with the rain falling up on this skylight? You've got a six top gas burner along with the oven and an extractor fan right over here. Plenty of windows letting in so much light. And then we've got two Smeg appliances, both the microwave and the oven built in to the shelving over here for all your dry goods. There's your two appliances. Also really like that, super nifty as well as space saving. Talking about space saving, we've got space for a double door fridge. And then just on this side, we've got a continuation of the kitchen. One of the scullery areas. Now this scullery area has your double sink Plenty of both above counter, under counter storage, lighting in here, and then this really cool stackable window linking this scullery area to your outside patio area. So if you're whipping up some meals, or if you're doing some drinks, you can pass them through right here. Super easy and a really neat feature. Right over here, we've got a door that leads outside onto this garden so you can wrap around or get to your garages. But this isn't the only scullery area this kitchen has. So follow me back this way and let's take a look at the other side of the home. And here we are within the second scullery area, although more aptly, this would be your laundry area. Now, where you're standing is leading off to one of the garages. You've got windows on both sides as well as wrapping around into the garage. But here's your laundry area. Lots of space for extra fridges, as you can see, as well as under counter storage. And then this massive wash basin. If you're a huge horse rider coming back full of mud, this basin is definitely going to come in handy. Now, we've spoken about, about 80% of downstairs. So let's lead you to the other 20% and then take you upstairs and show you the bedrooms located there. So come along with me. And here we are leading you to that extra 20% right here. We've got two hinged glass doors leading you into your very own office. We know how important it is to have a space at home where you can sit down and concentrate on work and this home has just that. Plenty of lighting here to your space for this full-on office setup. What is an office without an aircon as well as a storage right here for all your files. Now, moving across though, there's two other things we need to talk about. One is you've got access to your other garage over there and then right over here, past your linen cupboards, you've got your first bedroom. And the first thing you're gonna notice in the first bedroom is this tilted ceiling with a skylight letting in so much light. You've got a stackable aluminum door, just like we've seen throughout the rest of the home, leading out onto your incredible garden. So much space here. 
but what I do like is the differentiating tiles compared to the rest of the home. Here you've got tiles that simulate wood flooring, although giving you that hardiness of tiles. Over here, what's a bedroom without cupboards? Not a walk-in closet, but a closet nonetheless, and perfect one for your guests. And then here it is, your ensuite bathroom, walk-in shower, and a massive one at that single vanity with a sunken sink, plenty of undercounter storage, massive mirror on my right hand side, and then another hidden system toilet, soft closed lid with a window behind me, giving your guests all the amenities that they could ever want. But now, we've spoken about bedrooms, we've spoken about the lounge suite, the gas fireplace, the incredibly raised ceilings, as well as that stunning outside area. So there's only one thing left to do, and that is to take this spiral staircase, head on upstairs to where this walkway is located and take a look at the remaining three bedrooms located upstairs. So come along with me. Now, as soon as you get to the top floor, what I'd like to talk about is this floor to ceiling glass door, showing you the parkade and letting in so much light. It's such a cool feature. It makes this home look enormous and very, very expensive. I think the use of glass like this is such a cool feature. Then we've got all of these stainless steel railings leading across to the creme de la creme, the master suite. But first, we need to show you the remaining two rooms, and we're gonna start right here. Let's talk about this pajama lounge right here. Wraparound couch, so much space. You've got this glass surrounding the wall unit area, which I think is such a contemporary design and so unique because it looks down onto the dining room area. Again, another one of those tilted ceilings with skylights in the roof, letting in so much natural light. And right over there, you've got sliding doors that open up just above the kitchen. Those skylights in the kitchen are right here, looking down onto your fire area, your herb garden, and the rest of the grounds. The grounds in this home are expansive, guys. If you're really into having huge gardens, this is the home for you. But if you're into having huge gardens, you're probably into having some exercise. So come this way and take a look at your upstairs kitchen. Double sink, shelving, under counter storage there and there. You've got your own stove top located upstairs. How cool is that? Fridge in the corner, space for a microwave, as well as plenty of other shelving. So if you're looking for a midnight snack, guys, this is the home for you. You don't even need to go downstairs to find yourself a really cool snack. And here we are in the gym area. If you're into exercise, here it is, gym area with the smart home system on my right hand side. You've got a window there as well as, again, that tilted ceiling letting in all that sunlight. It's wall sconces on the left hand side giving you some extra lighting. And this is where you can work out without ever needing to leave the comfort of your own home. Now, coming out of your midnight snack kitchen, passing your stunning sliding double doors, you'll find yourself in a hallway that leads to the end. And here are the two bedrooms located upstairs. One on the left, one on the right. Both of them share a balcony that curves across. And right in front of me, I can see through the floor to glass windows out onto those grounds. So we're gonna go left first, and then we're gonna wrap around and come to the right hand bedroom. So follow me. Now, I can't walk into this bedroom without mentioning how cool these doors are. So the doors obviously close up. And right here, you've got these two windows that you can use as display cabinets, but it's a really cool uh, door. Super unique feature, haven't seen that before. On my left-hand side, we've got a sliding glass door that leads into the walk-in closet as well as the bathroom, but we'll show you that in a moment. Here is the bedroom. So again, we've got that tilted ceiling, skylights there letting in so much natural light. I love how bright this home is. It's so, so important to have a bright home because you never want to sit in a home that makes you feel like you're almost living in a cave. Again, bulky ceilings down and lighting. And then in this corner, space for a desk with a corner window looking out onto your beautiful grounds. Now, as I mentioned, both of these bedrooms have their very own balconies. And right here, you've got your stackable aluminum frame glass doors leading out onto the balcony that wraps all the way around to the other bedroom. And now talking about the other bedroom, let's go take a look at it. Now, just across the hall, we come to the mirror copy of the other bedroom. I love how the design elements included the fact that these two bedrooms would be complete mirrors of each other. So, again, you'll see the sloped ceiling, plenty of space. There's a double bed in here now, but there'll be no problem fitting a king. In the corner there, you've got another corner window looking down onto the pool area and that indigenous garden, and then access to the balcony through those stackable glass doors. But in the previous room, we did not talk about the walk-in closet, nor did we speak about the bathroom, and that is because they are carbon copies. So here it is, the walk-in closet, plenty of shelving space behind me, as well as a cupboard right here, sealed off 
from the rest of the room by that sliding glass door. And then when it comes to the bathroom, you'll see walk-in shower, toilet with a hidden system. Again, that really cool slope ceiling that lets in so much light while still keeping this bathroom private. Then you've got your single vanity right there in the corner with a medicine cabinet located off to the left, as well as some storage just underneath and stunning tiles throughout. So now that we've spoken about those two bedrooms, let's run across this stunning rampart and go take a look at the creme de la creme, the master suite. Another thing I'd like to notice, and some of the keen eyed viewers would have seen this as well, is the security system. You can see there are cameras in the ceiling throughout the home, and you've got a full on security system, so you never need to worry about anything at all. So let's stop right here and let's talk about some stuff. Behind me, you've got a storage cabinet right there. It opens up into a full on storage room in case you need that. But here we are the entrance of the master suite over here. Some beautiful down lighting to display whatever art you need. And on my right hand side, the entrance to the walk-in closet. And it's a huge walk-in closet. Some of the cool things to talk about in the walk-in closet is not only just how much closet space there is, but this huge central cabinet right here that has motion detected lighting. So as soon as you walk into this area, these lights switch on immediately. It is super cool and you can display whatever you want here. Maybe you're into your handbag collection or your sneaker collection. You can put up some shelves, glass shelves, put the sneakers on it and let that light filter down. I really like it. I think it's a super cool feature. But let's go and take a look at the main bedroom. And here we are within the master suite. So much light, so much air. Stackable glass doors on one side with these sliding doors on the other side. And take a look at this. Full on views of the dam and all the grounds as well as that pool. I can't wait to see you guys talk about this in the comments. I think that garden is a spectacular sight. Specifically waking up in the morning and being able to look at that. Above me, you've got some really cool details in the ceilings. Those wood rafter beams running all the way across and the lighting there filtering down and giving the space such a nice bright and airy feel over here plenty of space to put a separate lounge suite maybe a reading nook in the corner with these glass doors the dam right over there would be a perfect place to kick back with a good book a cup of tea and a snack but talking about snacks maybe you want to look like a snack and looking like a snack means you need a place to sit down and get ready and this is exactly where it needs to be guys behind me your very own private outdoor balcony for you to enjoy and what better place to relax than the central bathtub pour some bubble bath then kick your feet up and enjoy the air from your private balcony enjoy the light from the standout feature i think in this home and that is that tilted ceiling with the skylights but let's talk about some other features you'll find in this bathroom one is obviously your double separate vanities mirrors above you this bulkhead ceiling has all the down lighting you'll ever need yeah Privately, you've got your bathroom again, hidden system on the toilet, soft closed lid, but this shower also is definitely not slack. And if you think the bathtub's great, the shower is not far behind. Three separate shower heads, one of them being a rainfall shower, the other one being off to the side, and the last one being a handheld shower that you can also just hang up and get all the water really kill the water restrictions so thank the lord we are not in cape town this bathroom is definitely stand out i think this is easily one of the best bathrooms we've seen specifically with the way it's laid out but this home has one more feature we've got to talk about so follow me as we go downstairs and take a look at that and then also say our goodbyes and here we are outside by the fire pit enjoying the grounds as well as the air and that is exactly what you get when you purchase this 14 and a half million rent home it is absolutely stunning but it is so linked to the outdoors so if you're into outdoors if you think this home is the home for you what i'd like you to do is contact the agent on screen right now all of the details will also be located in the description box and schedule a viewing at your earliest convenience but before we go, I'd like to remind you all about www.privateproperty.co.za. This is our website and a website that houses every single listing of every home, whether it is as expensive as this to anywhere in between in one easy and centralized place. Every listing of every home in South Africa, you can find it right there. So don't stop, jump onto privateproperty.co.za and find your next home. But from myself, Chad Riveros, from the team at Private Property and everybody at the Home Shopper Show. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. We love you and goodbye.